Cancer patients can experience a loss of appetite, but it's precisely when they're battling a disease that they need to maintain a balanced diet. Doctors and dietitians held a press conference Friday to promote an anti-inflammatory diet designed for cancer patients. Inflammation is what happens when your body's white blood cells overreact to fight invaders like bacteria or viruses. Recent research has linked chronic inflammation to diseases including cancer. The research has published about the relationship about cancer and inflammation. They are a tight relationship. Um, if you have the chronic inflammation, it may lead to some chronic disease such as cancer. Inflammation doesn't just increase the risk for developing cancer. In cancer patients, a state of inflammation is associated with worse survival outcomes, according to Dr. Wang Zaoyuan. We have found uh, the very important uh, uh, data that regarding the NLR, that means that the neutral fear. Uh, and uh, ratio and uh, of the lymphocytes. If the ratio is higher than three, that means maybe the patient is in the informative stage. Especially cancer patient, I think the patient in the informative stage, maybe they have the poor outcome. Dr. Wang said that in nearly 70% of cancer patients with low-level inflammation survived for more than 40 months, but among patients with a high-level inflammation, only 10% had a 40-month survival rate. Because inflammation can affect the development of cancer, nutritionists say patients should keep a diet that fights inflammation. Ling Yi Chen, a nutritionist at Jilong Tangan Memorial Hospital, recommends 2 grams of fish oil EPA per day, equivalent to 400 grams of salmon. For cancer patients, right when you know that you have been diagnosed with cancer, before doing chemotherapy, you must first adjust your nutrition and immune status to an optimal state. You can ingest the so-called omega-3 from food, which contains DHA and EPA. But you may not be able to ensure that you get the daily amount that way, so you can get some help from nutritional supplements. Besides fish oil, you should also ensure protein and calorie intake. The nutritionist recommends chicken essence, fish soup, or protein powder for cancer patients. These provide calories and protein, which a cancer patient needs for muscle growth and tissue repair during therapy. Cancer patients should also consume a moderate amount of fat and sugar, rather than cutting them out completely. But cancer patients should first and foremost consult their doctor about what to eat to support their cancer treatment. For Most News, Stephanie Yang, Tyson Yo in Taipei.